Hey guys, Casey Madden, and join with me today is Tyler Hilton. Hello, how What's are you? What's going on? So good to see you. How are you doing? Really good. Thanks for having me. Of course. So you have an exciting Lifetime movie coming out, The Christmas Contract. Yes. Not only are we getting a Christmas movie, but we're getting it with the One Tree Hill cast. Yeah. Uh, talk about best day ever. I want full details. Yeah, sure. How is it being together six years later? I mean, it's great. We see each other all the time because we're like, we're really good friends. Okay. I mean, we met when we were like college age and right. we were on the show for like nine years together. So everyone's really involved in each other's lives. And I've actually worked with a lot of them in other projects before too, especially Hillary Burton. We've done like three or four movies together, How just fun randomly. Is that? But this is the first time that I think there were multiple people on the set together. And it was great. Um, I just played uh, a character called Tyler Hilton. Um, uh, no, but I just played myself and I just kind of like uh, performed in the movie and yes. just kind of came down to hang out But it was a really good time and it was fun seeing it. Like you said, you not only wrote the song, but you performed it yeah. How similar did that feel to your One Tree Hill days? It was cool I was like a little bit less of a dick because on One Tree Hill I was like the worst but like the best um, Stop hitting me. Stop kissing my wife. I will when you start kissing her so why a Christmas movie? How did this all come about? Did one of you do it? All of you join the bandwagon? How did this happen? Uh, Hillary Burton and I did a Christmas movie like three years ago okay. or so. It was called Christmas on the Bayou and we had a blast and it was like um, I think one of their highest rated ones they did on the network and it was just ended up being really cool for them and we loved it. So we were like anytime you want to do another one we're super down and we had a blast Fun. doing it. And then this one came up. I was on tour. Um, and so they got a bunch of people from the cast to kind of be in it. And then last minute they were like, any way you can fly down for like a day or two and just perform in it, write some music for it. And I was like, that would be great because it'd be such a bummer to not get to do it at all. Okay. So I wrote this tune for it and they put a bunch of songs from my new record in it. And um, so it worked out, it was really fun. So much fun. Yeah. Blow out the candle. So besides for the ones that are in the movie, what about Chad Michael Murray, Sophia Bush? Do we still see them? Do we talk to them? Do we hang out? Oh, I see them all the time. Yeah. I mean, I see them, yeah, but they weren't in the movie, which is a bummer, but right. I think, prediction, uh, I think that they're gonna do more movies like this and keep trying to get more people from the One Tree Hill cast in I there. think it's a great idea. Because the fans are still so into the show, it's yes. wild. And I think when they do movies like this, people get really excited, so. Totally. Wild, it's so crazy that people are still so into it. I mean. We love it because it's like we love each other, but it's just it's cool when it works out that yeah, way. Yeah, I know many of the fans are keeping their fingers crossed for a revival. I mean, we'd all be down. I don't know. There's adults in the world that kind of decide those things, and then <laughs> yeah. it kind of filters down to us. And we're like, oh yeah, we're down. <laughs> you also have a new album coming out, yeah. City on Fire. Congratulations. Thank you. What can you tease fans about your new music? This record was like is probably my favorite thing I've ever made. It's wow. something just like so personal and so uh, it's just a really cool record and. Um, I don't know, it's weird, I've like gone through a lot of weird stuff the last couple years, like I got sober, um, I lost my grandfather who was really close to me, I lost a really good friend of mine from high school which was so bizarre, so kind of like as I was filming and doing all this other stuff, I was just writing these songs about loss, about the crazy last couple years it's been, um, politically, culturally, California's been on fire, it's just been like such a wild couple years to be. Right. Um, you know, just kind of alive, and that's always the time that I end up writing. And I'm never thinking about it, but I'm just writing. Songs are coming out, and before I knew it, I had this record. And then I had another, I have another record that's almost done, that's kind of like part two of this record. I just can't stop writing right wow. now. It's the weirdest thing, yeah. That's great. So, um, so anyway, I'm, I'm stoked about it. That is super exciting. So we can expect this in January? Yeah, January 18th it comes out. Awesome. Um, Don't Feel Like Christmas comes out November 16th. Okay. And the song called How Long Till I Lose You comes out December 7th. Look at me with numbers and yeah. dates. Yeah. And then the record January 18th. Whew, that's my homework. Got Done. It. <laughs> Damn. What's going on, guys? This is Tyler Hilton. Don't forget to watch The Christmas Contract out on Lifetime, November 22nd. My birthday.